parliamentarians from the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy today walked out of a much anticipated parliamentary session that saw amendments to the election laws passed by their Jubilee counterparts. Then President Ted walked out a change in strategy for court MPs who also lost a court case filed to declare the morning session called by Speaker Justin Muturi illegal. KTN's Timothy Otieno now reports. The security situation around the parliament was no different from the one witnessed two days ago, if not more intense. You would have thought a riot was in the offing. Members of the public barred from accessing certain areas of Nairobi, especially around Parliament Road. But the tense environment outside the chambers would amount to little inside Parliament. Round two of a much-awaited confrontation between Jubilee and opposition legislators would change trajectory when this happened. A mass walkout of members allied the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy. The group choosing to shift tact from a parliamentary orchestrated push to have the amendment laws flop at the floor of the assembly to moving to the streets to voice their disapproval. The honorable members making some not so honorable accusations that Jubilee members of parliament assaulted them with pepper spray and rifles sneaked into the chambers. Jubilee should know generally that we should not we, sh we will not be in we, should, we will not be intimidated whatsoever. <laughs> They would walk through the rain and sunshine, Uru must go! Uru must go! chanting louder and sometimes falling silent before yet again rejuvenating their quest. They snaked their way from the parliament buildings to the Milimani law courts where they awaited a court ruling on the legality of the special seating in parliament. A ruling that Jubilee members of parliament claimed would have been rigged attacking high court judge George Odunga. You won judge Odunga and I have said it many times. 24th of January when we come back I will introduce a motion to discuss you. That is a provision. We will discuss you and we will expose you. You cannot be a member of the bench and play tribal politics. That statement, however, not going down well with the Law Society of Kenya, who through their chairman, Isaac Okero, condemned Aidan Duale. The society calls this an act of intimidation and threat to the justice system. I think it is really silly that we, even if, even with the numbers, they don't know that allowing us to debate, then we vote, they would still win uh, on the floor of the house. And win they did. Members of the Jubilee Party passing the amendments without their court counterparts. In court, the opposition would face yet another defeat. I decline to grant leave hearing to operate as a stay of the parliamentary proceedings at least not at this stage of the proceeding. The ruling failing to declare Parliament's morning session as illegal would prompt the opposition to call for countrywide demonstrations come January, even as the legislators vowed that although they had lost the battle, the war was far from over. Timothy Otieno, KTN News. Nasa! Nasa!